How's it going, everybody? My name's Danny Mata, and I'm here to ask, who the hell is Chuya? My last video was absolutely plagued with comments saying, oh man, can't wait till Danny gets to Chuya, and like, no other information. You guys don't spoil, you're sweet like that, but you sure as hell tease. And you know what? I almost didn't even want to bring it up, because I figured it was just some weird mass prank going on. Like, I figure I'd be like, who's Chuya? And then in the next video, all the comments would be like, heh! Chew you nuts! But I'm taking the risk anyway. Too many people have told me about this character I've never even heard of. So hopefully we'll meet them today. Big announcement. This isn't an ad. Don't skip ahead. As many of you know, every now and then I like to get a little pretentious with my comment and do like video essays on video games and movies. However, uploading videos like that on this channel has always been sort of a mess for me because I'll upload a video breaking down a scene from The Incredibles, get a bunch of Disney fans subscribing to me, and then and not watching any of my content, because why would they? It's all anime reactions. So I'm making a second channel called Honestly Brutal. There I'm gonna put up all the video game and movie analyses and reviews that I would normally put up on this channel, but now have a place where it makes sense to be. And don't worry, putting up content on that channel won't at all impede putting up content on this one, because that channel is just gonna be for whenever inspiration strikes me. But it would be absolutely fantastic if you guys went and subscribed to that channel and checked out its content when it comes out and just help support it. I love making those kinds of videos, but the way YouTube's algorithm works out, it's always a weird gamble whether or not they'll do well on this one. And like I said, even if they do well on this channel, it's kind of useless because it gets me a ton of subscribers that don't even like my main form of content. So if you like my Pixar videos, if you like my Suicide Squad video or my Multiversus video, make sure you check out the link to my second channel in the description below. And now on to the show. I hope that the armed detective agency and its members are faring well. Forgive my impudence, but I have placed a bomb capable of causing mass destruction in a certain location here in Yokohama. Well, at least he's a polite terrorist. Terribly sorry for the inconvenience, um, but I have rigged a train station to explode, so if you guys could see to that at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. Strange signature. Who is the Azure messenger? We don't know yet. This bomb could ruin us. It's rigged specifically to make our team look bad. Um, also people could die. Did you consider that? Why is the PR team trying to get ahead of this as if somebody just leaked the president's nudes? He's setting us up so that if we fail his challenge, everyone will hold us responsible for the damages instead of them. Our failure to stop the attack would spread like wildfire. Also people would die. Did you get any information from that taxi driver? Unfortunately, no. He denies any knowledge of the bomb. I believe him. I don't think he's the type to try to blow up Yokohama. Well, he also didn't think he was the type to kidnap and impersonate random civilians, and look how well that turned out. Maybe don't just trust that the taxi driver turned terrorist is a good dude. Isn't there something else you want to ask me about? So you already know everything. Come on, I only know what I actually know. Jesus Christ, that's your fish? You maybe want to get a bigger enclosure for that guy? That thing belongs at the bottom of the ocean, not in a 12 foot long tank. Nice try, but I know she's single. She broke up with her boyfriend. That's right, Kunikita. Now's your chance. Nice, this is definitely a conversation you should be having six feet away from her. Dog, that chick is single as a Pringle. You should totally swoop in on that. Oh, you're still here. Um... Should I be hearing this? It sounds like you're discussing highly sensitive information. Not really, they're mostly just discussing getting into your snatch. You can help. Remind me, what class do you teach at the university? Social psychology. Ah, oh, that's great. Nice, you remember she doesn't have a boyfriend, but forgot her profession. Awesome detective skills going on here, Dazai. He set off a bomb in a public facility and issued a manifesto. He was targeting killers whose cases had to be dropped on technicalities. Oh my god, this dude's like a real-ass terrorist. You're Would you calm down? Do Nothing like what you're imagining you is happening. Uh, when I first let her stay, I slept in a different room and didn't try anything. You can ask her, I was a true gentleman. She's right there! Lady, just go home. Getting kidnapped again sounds about as dangerous as hanging out with these two. Can someone please explain to me how these two guys are partners? Can someone please explain to me what you're still doing in this show? Also, she hasn't done anything in the last three episodes. He just sits around and gives commentary. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but that position's kind of filled. I'm no expert, but Kunikita seems to have a crush on you, Sasaki. Can I ask you, what's your ideal type of man? Probably one that talks to his friends about having sex with me right in front of my face as if I'm not even there. Clock's ticking. Do you know where the bomb is? Uh, you know, I was 
looking forward to sightseeing in Kyushu after I solved my case. What part of clocks ticking made you want to launch into an arrogant monologue? Dopo poet my ass! That flashbang just incinerated those guys. Find the transmitter and send the stop signal to the car bomb. Yeah, see, look, they're dead. I've played enough Call of Duty to know that flashbangs are not supposed to do that. I wonder what number you'll get. How are you feeling? You're looking great. Why is this dude up here testing out his Jack Nicholson impression? Any direction I want even if they're on the other side of the earth. But the really bad news is once their number becomes zero, they'll die in agony. Oh, this dude's just straight up unfair. I do like how the powers in this show are like super abstract and weird. Like I am always looking forward to seeing what the next person's ability is gonna be. Do you want it? That's a dumb question. Of course you do. Here. Oops. Oh my god, that dude just snapped a key in half with his bare hands. That was way more impressive than any of this stupid numbers shit. Nice leg work. Dazai, bring a gun. Kunikita's the only one on this team with a useful power, and for some reason also the only one packing any heat. Yeah, Dazai can turn off people's powers, and Atsushi is sometimes a tiger, but one big guy rolls up and all of a sudden the whole agency's fucked. Oh, shut the fuck up, that was hype. The old switcheroo, eh, fellas? I would like to mention once more, though, that Atsushi has not done shit this entire fight. What the? Why hasn't a number marked your hand? Sorry to say, your ability won't have any effect on me. What? That's not true. I thought he could only turn off people's powers if he touched them. What, do ranged abilities not work on him either? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, okay, that guy's dead. The corner of that cabinet just crushed that dude's skull. That was brutal. Release key. My ability allows me to recreate anything once I've seen it. Hey, maybe explain your powers after you stop this bomb, huh? The object must be small, no bigger than this notebook here. So your notebook is really a tool, and that's the reason you have it with you all the time, isn't it? And that's the reason he can't just summon his ideal woman. Okay, got it. I'm afraid I wasn't honest when I told Dazai how my relationship ended. My significant other and I parted ways because he died. Well, you're definitely gonna have to tell Dazai that if you want him to stop harassing you about being single. No, it can't be you. You're the one, Rokuzo? Yo, look at this just, like, normal-ass looking guy. I love this dude. No stupid haircut, no weird 1800s outfit, just a handsome man wearing a sweater. You know, that's something I could get behind. But it's really not you. Tell me the truth. Out. Oh no, they killed him! My bad, show. I guess I'll never like anyone again. So... You're the Azure messenger. Honestly, can you blame her? You guys have been so creepy to this chick. Will you shoot me? Please, Dazai. I suppose you can't because I lowered my gun. If you shot me now, it would be a crime. Since when did these guys follow the law? They were literally throwing bodies out of their office window two days ago. <laughs> I'm here because the Azure King killed my dad. Oh, let's go, sweater boy! But why? Why did it have to end this way? What went wrong? Someone was wrong! Jesus, what was she, a mosquito? This chick is 90 pounds. Why does she have so much blood? No one was wrong. This was the only possible outcome. Shut up! You're lying to your Oh, <gasps> kiss! <sighs> this doesn't look good. Oh boy, Dazai, what have you gotten yourself into this time? And I can't find him at home either. He's probably floating down some river again. Maybe he got himself thrown in jail. My guess is he's off with a woman. Weirdly enough, Rampa's actually the closest. Aren't you worried? That man's ability to avoid death approaches nightmarish proficiency. Even after all those suicide attempts, 
He's still as lively as ever. I like how instead of acknowledging all of Dazai's multiple suicide attempts as an obvious cry for help, all of his friends are just like, Oh, that rascally Dazai always trying to kill himself. <laughs> What'll he do next? With that attitude, probably die. Good to see you back on your feet. It's all thanks to Dr. Yosuno's treatment. Of course. How many times? How many times what? <laughs> Four times? What happened four times? Put your ass away! Um, Dr. Yosuno, good morning. Hey, Atsushi. Are you hurt anywhere? Oh my god, she's on the prowl. You know, I need someone to go shopping with me today. Looks like you're the only one around. Huh? Oh god, should I be nervous about this episode? <laughs> um, are you okay, sir? Watch where you're going, you little rat. Can't you see this is a custom-made suit imported from Europe? Uh, ooh hoo hoo la di da excuse me, I didn't realize Atsushi bumped into Johnny Von. Fuck you, man! Are you hurt? Don't touch me. I'll be lodging a complaint with your superiors. So, where do you work? That's not how that works. They're not at work, dude. You can't complain to their boss about something they did at the train station. Stu's over here trying to cancel Atsushi for bumping into him in public. But notice you have two arms. That's one too many, I think. Shall I remove one of them for you? Yeah. She just tear that guy's arm off? Um, I'm really sorry about what happened earlier. Sorry about what? Bumping into that guy or being an accessory to his murder? Such a beautiful leg. I heard your leg was amputated when you and Tanizaki ran into the Port Mafia. Amputated's a pretty gentle word. I'd say torn off. This is your conductor speaking. We apologize for the inconvenience, but we will now be conducting a minor physics experiment. Ugh, this is probably some TikToker disguising a prank as a social experiment. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy! <laughs> Oh, he pranked that train so hard! Can you hear me, test subject Atsushi? <laughs> Unless you surrender yourself, all of these passengers will be meeting a glorious, untimely death. Atsushi, stop going outside. I know I just complained about you not doing much in the plot, but if we're being honest, it's probably safer to keep it that way. I'll take the front car, and you go take the rear. What if we spot the enemy? Terminate them. You got it! Yeah, go get him, Atsushi. Between your no weapons and no combat skills, I'd say the enemy doesn't stand a chance. I'd like to bid you a warm welcome, my lady. Oh my god. The suit's covered in pins and just said milady. What is the train being attacked by a nice guy from Reddit? That's what your hair looks like? No wonder they've been hiding this doofus's face. He looks like Bon Clay. All right, Atsushi, go beat her up. Great job. She, she's too strong. Dude, the Port Mafia has insane powers. How's the detective agency not been totally wiped out? Even if Atsushi were a tiger right now, I'm pretty sure he'd still be fucked. <laughs> hey lady, maybe next time try buying your shit online. This was absolutely not worth the fun shopping trip. You want me to believe a meddlesome private eye like you would know something that I, a seeker of science, do not? You're not a seeker of science. All you did was bomb a train. Just because you called it an experiment doesn't mean that it was one. There's a simple reason for that. You're just an enormous idiot. <laughs> Amazon, Express, even Urban Outfitters has an online shopping store. Never go shopping in person again. That's wonderful feedback. Thanks. If you're so smart, you don't need me to tell you this. Since you're so smart, you probably don't need me to tell you this, but your weapon's dumb as hell. You're walking around with 30 lemon-shaped grenades jingling around in your jacket, a jacket which you've covered in buttons, I assume in a feeble attempt to match your 60-foot-long scarf, and a haircut your mommy gave you 15 minutes before she had to leave for work. And you think you have the right to talk down to anybody? Nah. 
Let's check in to see how our experiment is doing. What is the experiment? You filled a train car with grenades. What was your hypothesis? That it would explode? Yeah, real valuable contribution to the scientific community there. <laughs> but how? When I left you, you were nearly dead. Despite how I look, I'm a doctor. You don't not look like a doctor. In order to cure moderate injuries, I need to bring my patients to the brink of death. <laughs> Oh, that's actually sick. That's super cool. Hey, why'd you get naked when you healed that other guy, though? This is... Oh, nice! He's a bit of a tiger! It's over. Oh, let's go, Atsushi! Oh, that's hype! He's like Beast Boy, if Beast Boy could only turn into one very specific creature. A father, a mother, and their little boy. Their throats were slit by demon snow. <laughs> oh no, this is about to get so sad. Oh, don't kill her. She hates dogs and lightning. I didn't react to it, but there's a bit where she's like, my name is blah, blah, blah. I've killed 38 people. I like blah, 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 and I hate dogs and lightning, and it was adorable. I'm gonna be upset. No way. Dude, it's a detonator. What did you think the big button would do? My name is Kyoka Izumi. I've killed 35 people. I don't want to kill anybody else ever again, not ever! Whoa, whoa, stop! Everybody calm the fuck down! Oh, tiger legs, let's go! Woo! Oh, please recruit her. You guys need her on your team so bad. How about you then? Are you the player? 